Seek ye first the kingdom of God yes, yes, yes. and his righteousness, yes. and all these things shall be added unto you. Amen. If you get off course, you have to find a way to put yourself back on the right path. Yes. And this will give you the ability to get back to where you ought to be. Yes. It is a good feeling when you have the goal set so that you are making something of your life. You need to set at least three primary goals in your lifetime. And those are the goals that you want to have done before you die. They are very important. So that you are able to make your dreams come true and get more in personal growth. The book of Philippians 3, 14 to 19 states, I press to work mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if in anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Mm. Nevertheless, we are two, we have already attained. Let us walk by the same rule. Mm. Let us mind the same thing. Brethren, the followers together of me, and mark them which walk so as ye have us. For an example, for many work of whom I have told you often, I now tell you even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shape, who mind earthly things. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise Him. Our second ladder. How to find personal growth and increase your confidence. Confidence is something or it's not something that comes easily to most. It is an emotion that has to be learned. You need to know what you can do to increase your personal confidence and how it can affect the ways that you act and feel towards certain things in life. You need to think about what you can do to make your life better and what you need to do to boost up your self-esteem at the same time. You should not worry about what other people think about you all the time. You should not worry about what other people think about you. However, this is hard. You may not always be able to do this. It is difficult to move past the bad things that people do and say about us. Glory. And we may have a way to get the confidence back that is lost. Amen. The Bible says in Romans 5, 1 to 5, Therefore, having been justified by faith, uh -huh. we have peace with God yes. through our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. through whom also we have obtained our introduction by faith yes. into this grace in which we stand. And we exhaust in hope of the glory of God. And not only this, but we also exhaust in our tribulation, knowing that tribulation brings about perseverance. And perseverance brings about proving character. And proving character brings hope. And hope does not disappoint. Because the love of God has been poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit, Amen. who was given to us. Amen. 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 You can make your self-esteem grow if you have the right tools with which to do it. You might have to let go and move on past these harsh words. But it is the one thing that will get you to where you need to be. You need to learn to stand tall and be proud of who you are. When you are willing to feel good about who you are and what you are doing, you will see the way that your emotional well-being changes. You will notice the difference in the way that you act and the way that you feel in certain situations. You do not have to allow others to bring you down anymore. There is a way to move past this yes. and to get to where I need to be. 
You have to be able to let yourself grow from the inside out. You need to cleanse yourself, cleanse your body of bad and negative thoughts and allow it to be replaced by new ones. The Bible says in Psalm 19, 9 to 14, the fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgment of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold. Yea, than dearly beloved. Let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. You are the only one that can determine your future. You need to put your own well-being and emotions first so that you can achieve your goals by being more confident and in full control of the things that matter most to you. And our third consideration is how to improve your spiritual growth and feel better about yourself at the same time. When it comes to self-esteem, you need to have a sense of right and wrong. We have laws that tell us, we have standards that define both right and wrong. And we also have religion. And when it comes to religion or spiritual power, you have a sense of morally wrong or morally right standards. The Bible says in Ezekiel 3, 19-21, Yet, if thou want the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way. He shall die in his iniquity. Mm -hmm. yeah. But thou hast delivered thy soul. Again, when the righteous man doth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, mm -hmm. and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Mm -hmm. Because thou hast not given him warning. He shall die in his sins, and his righteousness which he hath done shall not be remembered. But his blood will I require at thy hand. Nevertheless, if thou want the righteous man, that the righteous man sin not, and he doth not sin, he shall surely live. Because he is one. Also thou hast delivered thy soul. The book of Zechariah also said in chapter 1, verses 3 to 6, Therefore, say thou unto them, Thus said the Lord of hosts, Turn ye unto me, said the Lord of hosts, and I will turn unto you, said the Lord of hosts. Be ye not as your fathers, unto whom the former prophets have cried, saying, Thus said the Lord of hosts, Turn ye now from your evil ways, and from your evil doings. But they did not hear, nor hearken unto me, said the Lord. Your fathers, where are they? And the prophets, do they live forever? But my words and my statutes, which I commanded my servants, the prophets, did they not take hold of your fathers? And they turned and said, Like as the Lord of hosts thought to do us according to our ways and according to our doings, so are he dealt with us. Everyone thinks that religion is all about praying to a high God. But it also is also about yourself and your growing up. Religion allows you to find comfort and strength yes, yes, yes. to do what it is that you have to do. If you can find faith in anything, you will feel better about yourself. Even if your faith is not in God, but in yourself and your family, you can still have spiritual growth without trying to find yourself in a religion. But spiritual growth is when you realize that there are things that you can control and things that you cannot control. Amen. Spiritual growth is when you live for another person or spirit. If you live to serve God, you will feel much better about yourself Amen. because there is power in the Bible. Amen. There is very little we can hope to achieve if we leave religion out of our life, yes. Yes. as it is true religion, especially Christianity, yes. that we have the grace to learn more about the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven yes. when we are in Christ Jesus.
The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 2, 4 to 7, and my speech and my preaching, we are not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. Yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world, that come to nothing. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory. If you live to protect your family or your church, you will find or you feel better about yourself because you are sacrificing yourself for another. And that is the basis of spiritual growth, to live for another, to serve one another, to serve your church, to serve your family. Once you are able to grow spiritually, your faith will also grow in the hope of what we stand to gain from following Christ Jesus. And what benefits do we derive from faith? The Bible explains this in Hebrew 11. 1 to 40, but I only read verse 6. He said, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. We have to understand that spiritual growth usually happens one small step at a time. And this is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. And that is why we labor and strive because we have put our hope in the living God who is the Savior of all people. Amen. And the Bible explains this in 1 Timothy 4, 9 to 16. It reads, this is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance. For therefore, we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God who is the Savior of all men, especially of those that believe. <coughs> and these things command and teach. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity, till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Meditate upon these things, give thyself only to them, that that profiting may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrines. Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Irrespective of whichever position we may find ourselves, we must remember that we must seek to help others while improving our personal fulfillment. Have you ever noticed that by doing a good deed, that you feel personal fulfillment. Yes. And that's why a lot of people engage in philanthropic acts, yes. giving to charity and to churches. Hallelujah. They feel personal fulfillment by helping someone less fortunate than themselves. Yes. Sometimes you will notice that it is hard to express your own feeling, but you can seek out someone and help them with their problems. Yes. And then all of a sudden, you will find comfort. If you have never tried it before, start today. Glory. If you are me, you are only me to yourself. Yes, yes, yes. There are people who take up civil service jobs to help others. It is not when you become a firefighter or a police officer or a doctor or a nurse that you can be useful and relevant to your church. There are so many volunteering jobs available in the vineyard of God. In some big churches, they offer chances of voluntary services to their members. 
for numerous church activities. Why sometimes your gifts, your donations, your regular payment of your thanks and generous offering will greatly help in fulfilling most of the necessary things which will move the church forward in its efforts to grow. Amen. Amen. Unfortunately, many of us fail to realize that while we seek the peace and success of our country, while we seek the peace and success of our church, our community, or our home, we too will prosper. The Bible is clear yes. about this mysterious truth to personal fulfillment, as we read in Psalm 122, 6-7. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. May peace be within your walls and prosperity within your palaces. Pray for the peace and success and growth of God's people church. Amen. May they prosper Amen. who love you. May peace dwell in your hearts and prosperity within your homes. Amen. May God bless you all. Amen. I would like us to stand up. We'll see a song at the back of our brochure, which I would like us to sing uh, this morning. That's the message that was given to us. And may God bless us all. Amen. The choir, please, you will help me also.
Lord, we know that you are waiting here for us to let you come into our lives. We know that you are knocking on the door, and now we pray that you will enter. We pray that you will come into our lives as Lord and Savior ruling over us. We know that you are truly the Son of God. We know that you have risen from the dead. We know that only you can save our souls. We seek your guidance and we seek your love. We want to follow everywhere you lead. We truly repent of all our sins. We feel remorse for all the evil we have done. We turn our back on sin and look to you.